Right. Good morning scholars, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to continue our look at the meter in the metric system of measurement. So we're looking at converting units in different fractional powers of the meter. Right? Whether it's the centimeters, millimeters, decimeters and so on. Now remember the last video that was done we looked at the different denominations in the meter, starting with the millimeters. If you are not familiar with that, you can always go ahead and watch that video to bring yourself up to speed, right? And remember two important points. When we're changing from the smaller unit to the bigger unit, we're going to divide. So smaller unit to bigger unit, we divide. Bigger unit to smaller unit, we multiply. And what decides what power we divide or multiply by? You can use the prefix that is attached to the meter. So the, 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 small, the small word in front of meter, so centi, for example, tells you 100. So a centimeter is 100 of a meter. So it takes 100 centimeters to make a meter, and so on, right? Kilometers, kilo, the prefix kilo means 1,000. So it takes 1,000 meters to make a kilometer. So if we're changing from meters to kilometers, remember, smaller unit to bigger unit, we divide. So you would divide the meters by 1,000 to get the kilometers. If you're changing kilometers to meters, you would multiply by a thousand. So that's what we're going to do now. We're changing two centimeters to meters. So 100 centimeters make a meter, so that means we're going to do what then? We're going to divide two by a hundred, and that would give what? Remember, when we're dividing by powers of 10, we simply need to move that many places to the left in this direction. So if we're dividing 2 by 100, we would move from, since there is no decimal point in the 2, but remember we said every whole number actually has an imaginary decimal point at the end of it, right? Think of it in that way. So we actually are moving from here, two places back, and that would give you 0 0.02 meters. All right, again, if you're not familiar with how to divide by powers of 10, just scroll through the catalog. We have videos on multiplying and dividing by tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on. Always bring... Yes, yes. Sane, you have a um, question? I'm not seeing the board so clearly. All right, let me try and get it closer for you. Okay. Um, can you see it now? Yes, I can see it. Can see it better now? All right. Yes, yes I can see the numbers much better, but not so I can see these, but I'm not seeing this angle. Okay. I'm not seeing the angle over here, but no. You're not seeing the angle? You can see them? So now we're changing from millimeters to meters. Remember, milli tells us 1,000, right? Milli tells us 1,000. So changing from millimeters to meters, we're going to divide the 3 by 1,000. When we're dividing by 1,000, we're moving 3 places to the left or three places back from the end of the number. So that would be one, two, three would leave us with two zeros in front of the three. So that would be 0 0.003 meters. How about decimeters? 
10 decimeters make one meter. So if we're changing from decimeters to meters, we are to, since decimeter is a smaller unit, we are going to divide by 10, so that's 35 divided by 10, and that gives 3.5 meters. Again, 826 centimeters. It takes 100 centimeters to make one meter. Centimeter is a smaller unit. Therefore, to change 826 centimeters to meters, we're going to divide by 100. Moving two places back then from the end, that would give 8.26 meters. All right, now we're changing kilometers to meters. Can I explain number two to you? Number three. The three millimeters? Yeah. No, number three. Oh, this one? Yeah. 35 decimeters. So, 10 decimeters make 1 meter. The prefix deci means 1 ten. And remember, when we're changing from the smaller unit to the bigger, we divide. So that's why we're dividing 35 by 10. Every 10 decimeters make 1 meter. So if we have 35 decimeters, to change that to meters, we're going to divide 35 by 10, and that will give us 3.5. Now we're changing from the bigger unit to the smaller. These three are from kilometers to meters. From the bigger unit to the smaller, we multiply. And the prefix kilo means 1,000. So it takes 1,000 meters to make a kilometer. So if we're changing 2 kilometers to meters, it would be 2 times 1,000, which would give us 2,000 meters. 53 kilometers to meters, 53 times 1,000. And remember, when we're multiplying by powers of 10, we simply have to add that number of zeros to the end of the number. So... Multiplying by a thousand simply means we add three zeros, 640 kilometers to meters. Again, we multiply by a thousand, 640 times a thousand. So that would be 640,000 meters. Bigger unit to smaller unit, we multiply. Again, we get the smaller units to change to the bigger unit. We're changing here centimeter to meter. 100 centimeters make one meter. So we're going to be dividing by 100 or moving two places to the left, two places back, and that will give us 2.94 meters. 1,350 millimeters. So remember, milli, the prefix milli means one thousandth. If you, if you remember your prefixes, it's much easier for you to do your conversions. So 1,000 millimeters make one meter. We're going to divide by a thousand. That three places back, one, two, three, would we'll take the decimal point between the 1 and the 3, so that's 1.35 meters. And finally, for this section, 95 centimeters to meters, 100 centimeter, centimeters make 1 meter. We're changing from the smaller unit to the bigger. We're going to divide by 100. And that gives us 0 0.95. Again, if you need to refresh yourself on dividing and multiplying by powers of 10, we have videos on that. And if you want to do the introductory video to the metric system, the meter, 
you can also look at that video in combination with this one, right? So that you, you understand the concept fully. So now we're converting other units. From, so we're converting the meter to centimeter. All right, so... In this case, then the meter is the bigger unit, the centimeter is a smaller unit. We're converting from bigger to smaller, we multiply. So since there are 100 centimeters to make one meter, if we're changing meters to centimeters, it means we're going to be multiplying by 100. So 1.2 meters. 1.2 times 100. This time we're moving to the right. No. Because we're multiplying by powers of 10, we move from the decimal point to the right. So it will be 1, 2 places, 120 centimeters. 200 meters to centimeters, we're multiplying by 100. There is no decimal point visible here, so we're just adding two zeros. So we're multiplying by 100, that gives us 20,000 centimeters. And 9,642 meters, again multiplying by 100. So we're adding two zeros to that number, and that's 964,000 centimeters. All right, let's say we're converting meters to kilometers. In this case, the meter is a smaller unit. The kilometer is the larger unit. So when we're converting from smaller to larger, we divide. So we're changing all of these meters. Kilometer is a thousand meters. So we're changing meters to kilometers, we're dividing by a thousand. So it should be one divided by one thousand. Three places back from the end will be zero point zero zero one kilometers. Zero point two divided by a thousand. Moving three places back would give 0 0.0002 kilometers. 11.3 kilometers times a thousand. Sorry, divided by a thousand. How comes nobody corrected me on that? You guys not following? You didn't hear me say times? And I'm changing kilometers. changing these to kilometers. Moving three places back, one, two, three, zero point zero one one three. And 25 meters to kilometers, 25 divided by a thousand, that's zero point zero two five. All right, now I'm just going to do with three calculations with the, the meter just to show you. Remember I, I explained that the metric system is based on the base 10 system. That means we work in powers of 10. And ordinarily when we add subtract multiply, we are using a base 10 system, the decimal system. So it's pretty easy adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing in the metric system, we just do the same as we would normally do. So I'm just going to do three to show you, since you already know how to add, subtract, and divide, multiply. Those basic rules of arithmetic. If you don't, we have videos on 
the basic operations of arithmetic. Each operation, there's a video specifically dealing with multiplying, dividing, addition, subtraction. So I'm just doing this to show you, since it's already in a base 10 system, like our regular system, we just add the same way, 3 plus 9, 12, and we carry it over to the, the other unit, 6 and 2, 8 and 1, 9, 9 and 8, 17, just like normal. Remember, the metric system is a decimal system, and we use a decimal system ordinarily. We add and subtract and multiply in, in groups of tens. Remember, the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, those are units of ten. So if we're subtracting, it's the same way. You don't need to convert. It's already converted. It's already in powers of ten. So if you need to take one, just do the same. You're actually taking over 1,000. So you're taking one from the five, the four kilometers. You're actually bringing it over here, right? And taking one. So that's one, eight. Just like you would normally do, right? Because remember, we have our te ones, tens, thousands. 1,000 meters make a kilometer. So where the kilometer here is still in the thousand place. Right? So you're good to go. All right. And just to show it for the multiplication, it's the same. 4, 9 is 36. 4, 3 is 12. And 3 is 15. 4, 1 is 4. And 1 5. Just like normal. So I just added these three. To let you know it's the same principles apply. Alright, so thank you scholars for joining me. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. And if you have been helped by the video, just drop a comment to say thank you. If there are topics you'd like me to do videos on, let me know in the comments. If you don't see that topic in the catalog already, let me know and I will do that for you. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves.